Hey there Magic Wand, Bronya from Wild Lotus Tarot here. We are about to jump into your weekly intuitive channel tarot message, but before we do so, just wanted to say that uh, what you just saw was a preview for my Immersive Learn Tarot Journey, the initiation. And since I launched it a couple of months ago, I have been offering it at a special price of 111 US dollars but like all good things they do come to an end uh, so they say and I will be uh, closing that off on October the 16th so if you wanted to grab it at that price um, you can do so now and I just wanted to let you know that you can um, you can join and then you have 12 months access so you can uh, take advantage of the special price and you can jump in when you've got time to do it over the next year uh, you will receive lifetime access to the Karmic community over on Facebook and your Tarot Light Codes, which is a mini course that is part of the course. You'll find out all about that when you join. So um, before we head to your reading, just to let you know, you can find me on Facebook, Instagram and on TikTok. Links are down below under the video, including the link to my website should you want to uh, arrange a personal reading or healing for yourself. Uh, the link for the Tarot course is the first link down below as well. Um, I am wishing you so much love and magic for your week. Don't forget to hit subscribe and like and share and all of that as well, guys. It does help me um, bringing these and bringing these readings to you every week. So have a wonderful week. Let's go to your reading right now. Capricorn, this is your weekly intuitive tarot reading for October 11th through to the 17th. Let's do this. Hope you're really well, Capricorn. I'm getting started here with the Work Your Light Oracle. I then head to the Moonchild Tarot and I draw you a lead tarot energy to guide your reading. I will then be using the Right Away and the Star Child Tarot for the tarot positions where we look at past, present, future. So let's jump in. The first one is Leap. Yeah, literally jumping in. You go first, Capricorn. The universe will catch you. This is very much the full energy of this oracle deck. And the full is about taking a leap of faith, about a blind leap of faith sometimes. It says it's time to trust the path and step onto it, even if it's early days, even if you're not really sure, hey, how's this going to end up? Is it going to be my happy ever after? What is the destination? You're so called to step onto the path because you can feel that, you know, this is part of your journey. Maybe there's a lesson you need to learn. Maybe it will be your happy ever after. It says you go first. And, you know, that really sends a, a bold message to the universe of your readiness for the new. When you take the first step, I mean, often the second step appears. Before you know it, the path becomes clear. So we've also got birthing a new age birthing new creations, dreaming a new world into being. So you are going through some kind of transition here. Maybe it's about starting a new business, side hustle, passion project. Maybe it's about uh, birthing into a new relationship, a uh, new job, something like that. There's some kind of transitional change that you're going through and the cards are saying, hey, it's time to take a leap. Maybe you've been just dipping a toe in, you know, testing it out, trialing something and the cards are saying, no, no, it's time to take a bigger leap into that. Okay, let's get your overarching tarot energy. It's out. Capricorn, we have got the Eight of Wands. Now, nothing says swift change quite like the Eight of Wands. This can be about things changing quickly. It can be about divine intervention that changes the course of events in your life. For me as a reader, when I see the Eight of Wands, it's my card of doing a 180 in your life. For example, you are heading in one direction and then something happens, an opportunity comes through and all of a sudden you are going in the opposite direction, the other way. So this could look like, you know, living in a certain location and you, you meet someone, a romantic partner, then all of a sudden, you know, you are moving across the country in a different direction. This could look like I went to university and I studied for four years to become an accountant and all of a sudden I found my purpose and it is ceramics and then now I'm selling ceramics on Etsy. Like it's about really bold change, right? Completely different direction, but it's in the direction of your soul's calling. Now the eight of wands can be a message a communication that generally comes in from the airwaves you know social media email phone that changes your course in some way 
can indicate travel relocation as well for some of you that are looking at that let's get the tarot out i'm drawing the energy capricorn of the recent past what has led you to this situation if this is your reading yeah you know before we birth a new age and leap often we leave something behind current or focus energy justice libra energy the change time for the big change that brings things into karmic balance i've got the eight of pentacles there and the tower at the bottom of the deck guys so yeah this is really about you know we're moving into a new direction but it's i've got this vision of you know you move in that direction and and then and then you burn the tower down behind you you know you see that in the movies how they get to the the end of this big saga and then they 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 torch the 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 building where all the drama went on it's like you know once you've made that decision it's like i'm willing to burn the past i'm willing to burn the tower down because i'm ready to leap into the new i don't need that i don't need that uh like safety net or blanket anymore three of wands so that was a powerful visual coming through sorry guys uh three of pentacles three three is your angel number and three is the number of the empress birthing a new age powerful creations that is absolutely what she talks about six of wands victory let's get a couple more huh the magician one more for the outcome the eight of swords okay king of wands leo energy at the bottom of the deck so one thing is for sure you have been making the transition away from something and getting ready to head into the new now as the king of wands you might have gone through a period of you know kind of really um, being the visionary of your life you might have gone through a time where it's like okay I absolutely need to bring change into my life so I'm actually going to take a look I'm actually going to take off the rose tinted glasses I'm actually going to look in the in the shadow I'm actually going to look in the dark corners where do I need to bring change the king of wands very much is a visionary energy and very strategically kind of makes changes to move towards passion and purpose now that that kind of discovery has had you awakening to the fact that you needed to move away from a situation that wasn't bringing you the full level of emotional fulfillment contentment satisfaction and happiness that you truly did desire i mean you had the eight of cups there not bad but it's not the nine of cups wish fulfillment the ten of cups you know blessed blessed life living so this could have been in your romantic romantic partnerships it could have been in your work situation i keep these um general here guys so that you can relate it to your situation but you've followed your intuition and i feel like you have already begun the disconnection process but maybe not completely finalized it i think that's the burning of the building <laughs> at the end of the reading but you are standing at this place where it's like i know i've turned my back on the past but i'm getting ready to jump over the threshold right the three of wands always shows someone who's at the cliff edge about to take a bold leap or action into the new to create or manifest one two three whatever it is that you are trying to birth with this new age that's what i'm feeling and there could have been some kind of message or intervention that really helps to like take a big kind of quantum leap towards that even now you can already feel the shift of energy you can already feel the seeds of success coming through because you know that you've made the right decision you can absolutely feel it now in the current focus energy justice the magician three of pentacles okay so even though you've made some decisions and maybe begun initiating change justice indicates that there is a, a bigger change to make this permanent that needs to happen for example uh, filing for legal you know divorce or separation um, ending the work contract going through all the legalities of like separating yourself from something um, maybe you, you did move out of a home or you went to test living somewhere else and now it's like yep I'm doing it so I'm going to to sell my home or sort out my rental agreement justice can be those kind of legalities of really bringing in the change and finalizing it 
severing the last ties to bring things into balance. And with the magician energy, I strongly feel Capricorn that it's you that is initiating this. You are the one that needs to step up as the alchemist of your life and make this happen. But you're really having this awakening to the fact that you know, you actually have everything within yourself to do that. You don't need anyone else's help, apart from maybe some legal advice. Um, but you are absolutely getting out there and, and taking action and making this final. Three of Pentacles here, a couple of things. It could mean that you need to use your network this week. There might be someone that you know that you can get advice from um, that can help you in this transition. But the Three of Pentacles for me is... The realization or the firming up of whatever it was that when you when you started moving away from the past situation, you did that because you had a, a dream or a desire or a manifestation or a hope or a wish that you were hoping to achieve by moving away, right? That new age that you were trying to birth. The Three of Pentacles is the physical realization of that. It's beginning to happen. It's beginning to take shape. And that is such a beautiful confirmation. As I said, you can already start feeling the successes. Um, you are already starting to see the results, feel this really happening. And it really is about this new age happening for you. So I love that. Eight of Pentacles, Six of Wands, Eight of Swords. You've got three eights in this reading as well. Eight, eight, eight. Now, eight in uh, numerology and tarot is an extremely uh, lucky number. It is about abundance. It is about mastery. So you might have mastered a lesson here. And it is a number of power coming into your power. So I feel like there is a sense of mastery here, mastering a path, learning, and making steps into the new that is going to bring um, abundance to you, right? Beautiful. Now, the Eight of Swords here, though, indicates that the one thing you need to keep in check, Capricorn, is your mind, the thoughts, the overthinking, the overanalyzing, because that can actually put a stop on the forward movement. Because all of a sudden the ego that wants to keep us safe and keep us in the known can come up with the things like, well, no, that's a big, too much of a big move. We couldn't take a leap of faith like that. What about the money? What about, you know, you know the, our responsibilities in the past past plates like it's all those things that just wants you to stay where you are because the unknown scares the, the ego so much so we're going to need to bring that under control stay very present and tune into your intuition like how does it feel we want to feel into this rather than thinking into this and that's the key for moving forward now we've got the six of wands we've got the eight of pentacles and we've got the tower now, I'm seeing something very different in the tower, as, as I mentioned at the start of this reading. I see this as being the final burning of the bridge. It's a burning of the bridge, right? There's a decision at some point this week or in the near future that I'm not going back to the old. And I'm taking some kind of final action, and it could be legal action, that burns the tower down. So... It's not an option for you to even go back there anymore. You've burnt that bridge. You've closed that door. That cycle is gone. And what I love about that is that the Six of Wands actually talks about a victory. And like coming out of a darker time <clears throat> into, the, <clears throat> excuse me, into the new and into much happier times, um, you know, in line with your passion and all of that. So if you are waiting for some kind of like verdict, legal verdict or news, that is represented in this reading as well, and it could be a positive outcome for you. Now, the Eight of Pentacles says to me, yeah, it's all, all of this is not going to be easy, but you know like that it's flowing and that you're moving in the right direction. The Eight of Pentacles is somebody who is slowly but surely carving out the direction of the new, slowly birthing a new age by putting their time, effort, energy, attention, and focus in the right place. So this is a metaphor for you know, moving on to the new and, you know, understanding that it does take time and you will need to be patient, but you are well and truly on the journey, well and truly on the path. And I feel like this week is, is a point where you initiate the final change and you burn that bridge and you make that bold leap to be all in to the new. Capricorn, I'm leaving it there.
Uh, I really enjoyed the message in this reading and I hope you did too. Do keep in mind it's a general reading for the collective. Can't, won't um, resonate for all of you but uh, drop me a comment if you're cool to share. I interact with pretty much all of you over there. I love to have those direct connections with you. Um, if I haven't replied to your comment generally it's because sometimes I do need to take a break um, and sometimes if they're really unconstructive I will not reply to those as well. I need to be mindful of uh, what I connect my energy to because it does have a very big impact on me but I do love um, seeing what's up with uh, most of you guys and getting to know what the collective themes are as well. Capricorn it has been a pleasure to read your cards and I will see you back here for another one next week. Don't forget to subscribe on your way out like this video share and comment it really does help support me in this channel and keep on bringing these readings to you bye for now